Welcome everyone, I'm Scott with Filmora and I'm here to show you the new text and audio features of Filmora 12.5. Let's get started. The new Filmora 12.5 includes over 20 brand new visual effects text templates for you. Let's choose the thanks for watching glitch and see what it looks like. And as you can see, we'll go ahead and double click. You can see we have keyframes built in to the template for you. You can do everything you would normally be able to do with text. You can actually obviously change it. Uh, you can change the text itself. You can change the font, the size, anything you would like to do. We can just say thanks instead of the other. We can then increase the size a little bit. And your keyframes will remain the same. So no matter what you do to it up there, it's still gonna have the visual effects down here. Filmora's new 12.5 does include over 20 of these effects and obviously they are adding to them all the time. So you have a large selection to choose from. Let's look at some other new features. For this example, I'll just choose the default title for you and we'll double click it. We'll change this to something up here. animation loop there are some pre-built new templates down here for you neon twinkle double click it and you can see immediately what's going on so now we have a neon twinkle saber fire double click it you can see what's happening and that's how you can um, customize your text with the new 12.5 to even a greater degree. Now let's take a look at the new 12.5 audio effects. These are really cool and it's something that I've wanted to add to my videos for a long time and now Filmora has just made it so easy. Let's start with effects. Under audio effects is a new category called audio driven effects, audio driven effect, two, four, six, eight, ten. There are ten of them here and I'm going to demonstrate what they do for you. Let's start with a little audio. We're going to pick something out of beats, the beats category. That's the best way for me to show you uh, how this is going to work. Let's grab one and put it on the music timeline the audio timeline. Let's give a quick listen. Okay, that has a good beat. Let's go ahead and take that out real quick and add the beat detection to it so we can visualize, we can see what's happening. Now that we've added the beats to it, we'll be able to more visualize what's going to happen. These indicate the beat. One more time. Okay, now what we're going to do and grab um, some kind of a video this little seal here will work. Okay, now we're going to go to our effects and we're going to start with audio driven color shift. And we're just going to drag that right on top and stretch it out. And I think you'll see what's going to happen here. This color shift is now going to be to the beat of the music. See it? I think this is a really awesome feature and I have simulated this myself uh, with a great deal of trouble, uh, but this is awesome. Let me show you one of my favorites here. Uh, I really like the auto audio driven zoom. It's one of my favorites. This gives such a cool effect. Check this one out, guys. I know the wheels are spinning when you see that one. There is all kinds of things you can use that for. And uh, we're going to do a couple more things for you here. This is audio driven flash black. And what we're going to do is put it on top. And I'm going to show you that you can stack these things. Now, you may not want to stack them all. You might want to, you know, figure it out, but you can stack them. See it? 
<laughs> that is so awesome. Now let's go ahead and take audio driven zoom and double click it. And that's right, you can do things with it. Uh, this may be discussed in a future video, but this is a uh, add effect mask. You can actually now with Filmora uh, really drill down pretty far. You can put effects into a mask and just have an effect in a certain area. So if I just wanted the nose to flash, for example, I could do that. But let's just look at the, the effect itself. Audio driven zoom. You've got a threshold minimum and you've got a threshold maximum. And yes, that's right. You can keyframe those. So you can adjust your minimum and maximum thresholds for the zoom throughout the video. This Filmora is just, um, this is just amazing. So let's see what happens. Let's take our max. Okay, now obviously that's a zoom. Let's just see what that did. Oh man. <laughs> okay guys, that is just amazing. And uh, let's check out the black. Now each one of these is gonna have a different set of uh, parameters. For example, minimum, maximum. This one has an opacity setting for the black. Let's crank it up. Let's set it to the max and see what happens. Awesome. Let's take the zoom out for a second so we can see it by itself. And let's pull the opacity to the minimum. And say okay. So you can see it in the... Let's go over these real quick. There's only 10 of them, but don't forget, Filmora adds stuff all the time. Uh, it's mostly coming from the server side, so you don't have to do an upgrade uh, to get more of these. They'll, you'll just open it up one day and it'll say new right there, and then there'll be five more or four more or something. They're really good at that. So you've got the color shift I showed you, the glitch. I'll just put my mouse over it so you can see it. The glitch. This is a second kind of glitch. That's really glitchy. Okay, we're gonna flash white, a blur, handy, exposure. Oh, let's check out exposure. That is kind of cool. Let's get rid of the black. Let's check out exposure. Oh yeah. And there it is without it. Very nice. I love these. I love these. Another glitch, a saturation, which is really cool. The zoom we've seen and the black we've seen. And that is it. That is your new audio driven effects. Don't forget with Filmora 12.0 and above. Don't forget all of the awesome, cool AI tools built in. Make sure you go back and look at some of my other videos for those. And we'll see you guys real soon on the next video. I love this software. It makes my life easy. I edit three to five videos every single day and I can just zip through them pretty quick with Filmora and I get beautiful results. See you soon.